the direct issues that affect people in St. Mark's, people in St. Patrick, people in St. Andrew, people everywhere in Grenada, Karaku, and Pity Martinique. And I want to start, brothers and sisters, with the fact that the government has reported two things. One, that the unemployment rate has been reduced significantly. The unemployment rate, we are told, has been reduced significantly. And we are told that the economy is growing very well. Brothers and sisters, we are told that the IMF has given a glowing report. The International Monetary Fund says Grenada's economy continues to grow robustly and is expected to surpass its pre-pandemic level in 2023. The IMF issued a statement following its recent mission to Grenada. The mission team led by Mr. Jane Hooker met with the authorities to discuss recent economic developments and follow up on the policy priorities raised during the 2023 Article 4 consultation. I told you I don't like to use the word like <laughs> you said that, not me. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I am amazed at how people would look at a camera and smile to the audience, telling them that unemployment has dropped and the economy is doing well. Where is your conscience? Mr. Hooker also said that growth has been driven by continued strength in construction and a sustained increase in tourist arrivals, in part due to successful efforts to improve airlift. He added that record revenues from the Citizenship by Investment program have supported both public and private investment, and at the same time, headline inflation remains low. Because if you travel, right around Grenada and you take a trip to Karakou, I am sure that you would find no one in this country who would agree with the IMF, the government, the ministers of government who says things are better. The report also stated that the near-term fiscal outlook has improved with recent strong revenue performance and this reflects the buoyant economic activity as well as a surge in the government CBI revenue which is anticipated to normalize after the current backlog of CBI applications is cleared. The report also noted that the Grenadian financial sector remains stable and liquid, and bank credit growth has increased with greater demand for construction and durable consumer goods loans. Except you are living somewhere in the sky. Except you are not on the ground here in Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Matnik. There is no way that you can agree with any person, living or dead, that says to you, things are better, the economy is doing better, and people are getting more jobs. I say just walk around 10 minutes in Grenville. Five minutes in Croshu, two minutes in Subiz, and just take a minute around St. Mark's, and you will draw your own conclusion. Brothers and sisters, the number of people who have lost their jobs between the last election and now, and I'm talking about people, not people who've lost their jobs in the private sector. I am talking about people who are working directly with the government. We were keeping a list in our constituency and in our constituency alone, we were talking about 90 people. And I know for sure this government has not employed 90 people 
in my constituency since the last election. And that is the point I'm making. You're firing people, left, right, and center. Sending these people home, knowing the circumstances. And while you are doing that, you are boasting that the economy is growing, unemployment going down. And you're still boasting about the amount of hundreds of million you're getting from CBI. Where is the conscience for the people of this country? If CBI is making far more money under this administration than under the past administration, then we expect the reverse to be happening. If you came into office and you found a pregnant treasury, as you said, so all the things are working well for you. You met a pregnant treasury. You're selling more passports, as you say. You're making more money from CBI. The economy growing. Unemployment going down. But people balling more. Something is wrong. The math's not adding up. Right along life.